Silver Seal City ordinance continues to gain attention from state lawmakers, and the question at hand is whether or not this violates free speech. 13 News reporter Hannah Getz spoke with both sides today. Monday night, a controversial protesting ordinance passed during the Charleston City Council meeting by 21 to 5 vote. Many are raising questions of whether or not the ordinance goes against the First Amendment, an issue Attorney General Patrick Morrissey says he's looking into. We're uh, analyzing it. We're seeing the nature of our state constitution, the breadth of its free speech protections, and we're also urging the City Council to take steps because they could do this better. The ordinance does two things. First, it prohibits its protesters from blocking entrances of medical and health care facilities. Second, it creates a 100-foot buffer zone of the facility's entrance, and a protester would not be able to get within eight feet of someone within that buffer zone unless first giving consent. Police have been called to the Women's Health Center on Charleston's west side. This is something that we did at CPD's request because everyone's safety is paramount. City Council members say the ordinance was brought into place for safety purposes. This is done as so we can prevent violence from escalating. But Wanda Franz, president of West Virginians for Life, says otherwise. So it's unnecessary to have this additional uh, ordinance uh, clearly designed as an attack on the free speech rights of pro-lifers. Um, it is not an anti-free speech bill because you can still protest within the 100 feet of that health care facility so people have that privacy. People can ensure that they're accessing these facilities safely. And again, this bill applies to both sides of the issue. In Charleston, I'm Hannah Getz, 13 News, working for you. And that ordinance, we understand, will go into effect on Saturday.